Hey, um, I just wanted to say that we get across that what Lorna can do and basically what kind of Lorna's done with me is I gave her a wish list almost of what I wanted to be able to achieve. Um, she immediately saw and read just from my personality and which, you know, the, the small discussion we had, we had previously of kind of how I was, who I learned, how I learned and kind of all my blocks and barriers in every place. So as I said, I gave Lorna a wish list of what I wanted to achieve. We've done that in less than a year, meeting up once a week with loads of little gaps in between. Um, working with children, I can see how Lorna has and can switch it within days, um, mixed with um, working with staff, increasing academic levels, increasing exam results um, on a real kind of mass wide scale. Um, I think one of the main things that Lorna can achieve at Little Reading is really working with staff um, and kind of ticking your wish list um, quickly um, in accordance with Ofsted ratings and exam results and personal achievements um, but mostly staff progression um, I think that's something that you had mentioned that you wanted to kind of can Lorna do this she absolutely can Can. What about the behavioural issues? Yeah, so then there's the behaviour management side, really getting to the bottom of why they're behaving like this. Um, and without needing to know too much information about home lives and backstories, Lorna does see a clear picture quite quickly through her teaching experience um, and, psycho and psychology. Um, it's why they're behaving like that, what's the reason for this, what's the reason for that. Um, and how to turn the child around fast. That's, yeah, that's the most astonishing thing, the, the kind of the pace um, and the speed of everything. Um, exactly, because I'm developing how, how you think about a situation and how you are able to understand the problem from different perspectives, but the solutions are also very attainable quickly so that real progress can be made with all, all involved, I suppose, in any But what makes me, do you think, different from other teachers or psychologists or consultants? Um, I think it's a... It's the skill being able to create a bespoke um, package to excel really, really fast. Um, and that's through fun. <laughs> it's through behavioural, emotional fun. That's why you remember the information. That's why you have the confidence to ask why and yeah. discuss. And Lorna creates a discussing environment. It's an enjoyable, an enjoyable environment. environment. It's not mm. kind of, well, um, I don't feel like a student or a typical student or how I felt at school or how I see some teachers teaching. There's no hierarchy. You're on a level playing field and it's discussion and it's behavioural learning, which is the way you remember the most. Mm. Massively, we were talking about it earlier. Just going back to my our tennis coaching, we collaborate together. That Lorna makes me a better coach, I'm a better coach for Lorna. It's, it's no intimidation, teacher student levels, it's a collaboration of a very healthy learning environment, very behavioural from the student's point of view. So that's how they remember it and enjoy it. And how would that be put, put, put into practice with staff members and with pupils? Um, I mean, staff members, I think. Um, I don't know, I think confidence, um, learning, growing more and learning more, being happy learning, not being kind of um, turning in on themselves and thinking, oh, I'm a rubbish TA, I'm a rubbish teacher, this person is going to tell me everything I don't know. It's really not that. Um, you know, when you do get the chance to meet Lorna, you'll see that straight away, how gentle and warm she is, and genuinely wants to help people. Um, 
but I think getting rid of all the teachers and TAs blocks that they've had from their school life and their other experiences around school, um, it's just quickly jumped over that hurdle and allow them to learn and allow them to take on the thought process of uh, why kids are behaving like they are. It's not because they don't like you or like school, it's because they have their own barriers and issues and emotions Agreed. which affect their learning. And it's getting to the bottom of that fast and creating um, a new mindset where those barriers no longer block either the teacher's communication with the pupils and vice versa. Yeah. What about developing, sorry, you're so All I was going to say was, just relating it back to myself, the experience I've had within this year, people are now saying to me, you're confident, you're new, you're on a mission, blah, 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 all of these things, um, which is is how I feel, and for someone else to see that, it's astonishing. Yeah. Just because I'm not an eight-year-old, nine-year-old child, I've had more blocks and more experiences and traumas in my life, and to quickly get rid of those, that's astonishing. And then to be learning the anatomy from a medical degree level, degree level <laughs> within a year, yeah. from not learning anything in January, from that's what's the most astonishing thing about it. And also having had blocks in science from school days. Exactly. I, I'm a 27 year old with all my <laughs> whole yeah. educational career. And really 24 years old. That, you know, years we've old. got past all this. Within months. And we've got the conference. I'm meeting once a week. Yeah. It's crazy. Which is fantastic. What do you think pupils will gain by having someone like myself helping them? A love for learning, a kind of feeling of uh, running with their learning and not entering a classroom and feeling shut down, feeling shut yeah. down being able to express their personality and be themselves and ask why, how, who, yeah. discussion-based learning. Um, yeah, gain a love for learning. What about the and when, you know, and when, um, most likely when a, when a child is doing well in school and enjoying learning, a lot of things fall into place. But it just makes life so, a little yeah. bit easier. Because you've got a happy child and, and, and that imagine that spilling over into a happy classroom as well. It makes the teacher's job so much easier. And when that child, let's say it's a child that's at the bottom of the class or being labelled as blah 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 blah, or the bad behaviour child, or disadvantaged, disadvantaged child, um, when they start to climb the class, oh, it's exciting. Their the self esteem the goes to the roof. It's yeah. exciting. It's not, oh, what's he getting? What's he done to deserve this? That yeah. is, that's not the atmosphere and culture that no. will everybody wins create. because everyone's gaining fast ground to catch up and get to the top fast and when teachers are doing that exception. students are doing yeah. that together it, it, that's when you get astonishing results like, yeah it's amazing so come on board for sure, Oops. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> great thank you Mark